Ice on the analyst desk. Thank you, gentlemen. And guys, I, I think we have to tip our caps to the sub squad of TDK because both last week and today, they have really stepped up those three individuals in particular, having had very little experience on this stage and at this level. Uh, you know, I just you know, want to commend them, one, on their efforts there. Absolutely. I mean, it goes to talk about a couple of different things. So one being that uh, there are a lot of very good players out there in North America that aren't on LCS teams right now. We're seeing their dual lane hold up quite well. They're on a uh, challenger team that, you know, failed to make it to the challenger series. You saw Bishi run around, do quite well. His solo kill on Phoenix last week was really awesome. Like, there are a lot of good players out there. And we're in the first half of the split. And even though Dignitas held their lineup together, it just feels like a lot of the teams got rusty again at the very, you know, when we started out the summer split here and, and that kind of closes the gap between a sub squad and an LCS team where the, the shot calling differences aren't quite as stark. Even look at teams like Gravity where like Buddy had to go relearn everything because they need a new shot caller, even though that's their full starting lineup. So this is the kind of world we're in where these sub squads will make it look very close. Again, yet again, landing phase looked pretty good and then they slowly got outplayed as time yeah. went on. Well, I think that's the important thing to note here is that Dignitas did look in control for the majority of the match. Uh, really, the only hiccup was that Kez Baron steal. And, you know, you can only do so much about that when the Gragas comes over the wall and it's 50-50 smite. Yeah, I do think there's several things Team Dignitas can improve on. Like, for instance, Shifter, yes, Bishu played well, but he was on his ear and he lost his turret fairly early on in the game on a champion that should be able to defend the turret much yeah. more easily. So, like... Dignitas, they've had a very strange first three games. They got basically perfect game by CLG, then they perfect game at Cloud9, and then they had this really competitive game against TDK, who should be the worst team currently in the LCS with yeah. the sub squad, and yeah. it was a really close game. So I think there's a lot of learnings they can take away from this one, but they should be happy with the win. From a, Yeah, I was going to say, from a yeah. morale standpoint, this has to be a big boon to them, starting the season off 2-1 with the roster that they decided to stay with. It's great to start off 2-1. Yep, right. Yep. So that's one of the better starts of all the teams. All right. Yeah, exactly. So Dignitas with the 2-1 sitting near the top of the table. That being said, let's pull up the standings to see how the teams are shaking out. Tied for first once again, it's CLG and Team Liquid with a perfect 3-0 start. Gravity, Team Dignitas and TSM are sharing third place, followed by Cloud9, Enemy and Impulse in sixth. In ninth, it's another tie with Team 8 and TDK with three losses. Now we'll be back again tomorrow with five more matches, starting with Cloud9 versus Team Impulse. After that, Team Liquid will face off against their former sister team, Gravity. Then get ready for the game of the week. It's El Clasico as Counterlogic Gaming Battles Team Solo Mid. That will hit your browsers starting at noon Pacific Daylight, 9 p.m. Central European Summertime. And looking ahead to next week's schedule, be sure to tune in Tuesday and Wednesday for the European and North American Challenger Series Qualifier Finals. You can catch that at 6 p.m. Pacific Daylight to check out the stars of tomorrow as they begin their journey to the LCS. Now, earlier this week, we announced the locations for the upcoming European and North American Summer Split Finals. On August 22nd and 23rd, the LCS coverage goes on the road with our European counterparts heading to Stockholm, Sweden. And for the North American Finals, we're heading to the Big Apple and we'll be setting up in historic Madison Square Garden. Check back on LawEsports.com for all the information on how you can pick up tickets later this month. Now for myself, the entire live broadcast crew, thank you for watching and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Ready to kick off our first game of the day. It's Enemy Esports versus Team Liquid. On to the second drop as well, and Dominic to run away. Two kills, maybe make that three as players tries to dive with the turret, gets through, prisoned up. Team Liquid in a dominating fashion take down Enemy Esports. Kill goes to Balls. Incarnation stays alive so far. Keen getting just evaporated. Balls goes down to Altec. Now the push on towards Medios and Lemon. At the same time, a triple kill for the new AD carry. Gravity in 35 minutes knocks down Cloud9. Rush is the first kill. Dyrus joins in, stuns with the wall. Adrian goes down. A whole ton of kills picked up. Can I say, can I say? I have all the five. Can you fight them? I have all. Yeah, no flash, number, 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 number. Yeah, no flash. Rumble, no. CC nice. on the rumble. Nice, rumble, nice, easy. Nice. I have all, I have all. So in that answer back, if they can defeat a top four team, and they will do so against Team Impulse here. Hey, what kind of what kind of style are we going with here? But me, I fall in love with you every single day. <laughs>
Very nice. There's Nick the ultimate. Double lift goes down. They can get back onto Poe Belzer. He may as well. And Smithy tries to tunnel out. Kaliana double lift. Whoa, baby! Yo. Going for the long ride on that one. Counter Logic Gaming takes down teammate. The RK Mastery and the Saras of Brace keep him alive. Kiwi kick close to going down now as a Ziggy flies through with Shifter Soldiers. That hey, TP is oh, oh, it. it. It's going to be Kaz that takes down the Baron. Team Dignitas are going to take down Team Dragon Knights.